Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at adding rational expressions with common denominators and binomial numerators. Okay? So, again, if you have a common denominator, then you want to write the numerator over your one common denominator. So, we have negative, and that negative is outside of the entire fraction. So, I'm going to use parentheses here. Uh, and then minus and again we're subtracting the entire fraction so I'm going to use parentheses since we have a binomial in the numerator there all over 8c so we have negative 9c minus 10d minus 5c plus 11d all over 8c uh, so it's great that we have the common denominator in the next video or two we'll be uh, finding a common denominator and then adding or subtracting all right so next step of course is to uh, clear the parentheses so we need to distribute the negative and the minus in front of each one of those parentheses to the terms so negative 9c plus 10d And then minus 5c minus 11d all over 8c. Then the next step is to combine like terms. So we have negative 9c minus 5c negative 9 minus 5 puts us deeper into the negatives at negative 14c. And then we have positive 10d minus 11d, and 10 minus 11 is negative 1d, all over 8c. All right, and then the next thing we would look for is to see if we could factor anything from the numerator so we can simplify with the denominator. In this case, we cannot factor and simplify. So that would be our answer, negative 14c minus d, all over 8c. All right, so let's look at another example here. All right, so we have negative 3, um, negative in the fraction 3b minus 8y all over 4b plus 8, 8b minus 6y all over 4b. So again, let's rewrite it. We see the negative is out to the side, so we want to put the negative, want to put the numerator on the, the first fraction in parentheses. And since this is plus here, then I don't have to put the second fraction in parentheses or that second numerator in parentheses. Okay. All right, so let's clear the fraction, clear the negative now, clear the parentheses. So we'll change those signs. All right, so we have negative 3b plus 8y plus 8b minus 6y. Okay, so let's combine like terms. So I have negative 3b plus 8b. So negative 3 plus 8 is positive 5. And then I have 8y minus 6y, and 8 minus 6 is positive 2. Now keep in mind, you can't simplify the b in the, in the denominator with the b in the numerator because in my numerator I have a binomial, 5b plus 2y, whereas in my denominator I only have a monomial. So binomials can only be canceled with other like binomials. So keep that in mind. Alrighty, that's it for this objective. I hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.